all over one. So we're finding ourselves outside the Plough and Furrow Inn and we need to check our to-do list to figure out what we're going to be doing in this episode. Welcome back to the Excavation of Hobbs Barrow. My name is Greg from Greg's Games and uh, this is a point-and-click adventure. This is part number four, I believe. Um, so we are finding out a little bit about the, the history of this uh, town and we're still trying to find uh, Mr. Leonard Shoulder, who is the person who invites us here and has yet to show up. So let me just check our to-do list so we know what to do. We're still on the first day actually. So locate Hobbs Barrow. Mr. Shoulder is nowhere to be seen. It's time to find Hobbs Barrow myself. So we've kind of given up on trying to find Mr. Shoulder. We've been to his house in the last episode. He's not there. We don't know where he is. Um, so he was going to show us where Hobbs Barrow was, but um, so we're going to try and find ourselves. We also need to find a way into the Postmaster's storeroom. Uh, my crate is inside, how can I get in there without attracting too much attention? So all our supplies have been put into the Postmaster's storeroom, but the Postmaster has just left town and is not going to be back for several days. Um, and then we also need to open a tab at the plough and fur. Kenneth has not arrived, leaving me without funds. I should convince Sally to allow me to open a tab. So I think that is going to be the first job, because we are right outside the plan furrow. So we go inside and we're going to see if we can get ourselves a tab, because we have offered to buy a few people drinks and we then realise that we haven't actually got any money at all. We've spent all our money. All we have is this uh, silver necklace, a trowel, a glove, a box of matches, a key and some letters. So right, let's go speak to uh, Stanley here. Um, let's just get, get him in some conversation before we start going straight for the uh, the tab there. I found Mr. Shoulder's home, thanks to the help of Father Roach. Wonderful! So you've met our vicar then? Yes, I did. An interesting character. Indeed. So, did old Leonard apologise for his absence? Not quite. He wasn't home. What is that man playing at? You tell me. Yep, so we were really struggling to find him. We've kind of given up now. I've decided to find Hobbs Barrow without Mr. Shoulder's aid. Are you sure that's a wise idea, lass? What other choice do I have? I have a feeling he is avoiding me. Do you know where I can find the Barrow? No, sorry. I say that on my mother's grave, Miss Bateman. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm not entirely sure I trust him because he did lie to us right at the beginning. Uh, when we asked him about Hobbs Barrow, he said he'd never heard of it, but then admitted later on that he actually he does know of it, and that most people do know of it. Um, but I can't remember what he said now, that uh, people are a bit suspicious of it, or superstitious of it, I should say, um, and they tend not to talk about it or go near it, I think. My assistant has not arrived as planned. Oh, is everything all right? I'm not entirely sure. Am I to keep a room for him, just in case? If you could hold it for one more night, Mr. Kemp. As you wish. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? A most charming man, Miss Bateman. He looks after us here, eh? a good fellow. Where does he live? Panswick Manor, on the moors. No visitors allowed. His lordship likes his privacy. Yes, we've heard that. There's also the rumour that he kind of shoots trespassers on sight. Um... So he's a, an interesting character, so I'm sure we'll encounter a bit more. Okay, right, let's go on to our mission here. I'm sorry to ask this, Mr. Kemp, but could I please open a tab? Still not in your purse? I'm afraid not. My assistant hasn't arrived as planned, so I find myself in a bind. He must have put the money in my crate, which is currently being held in Mr. Price's storeroom. Well, as you know, I run an honest establishment here, and I do trust you. So That's yes, nice. I'll open an account for you. Nice. To be settled at the end of your mm. stay. Of course. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Now then, I'll be needing something of value as a deposit. I thought you said you trusted me. Aye. It's not personal, lass. One can never be too cautious. <laughs> okay. Um. How can I open a tab again? Okay, it's just Leave me an it. item of value as a deposit. I'll give it back to you at the end of your stay, when it will be time. To pay the piper. Okay, I quite, I quite like this guy. He seems quite down to earth, Goodbye. a bit kind of. See you soon. A lot of times, when you speak to to NPCs in games, they are a little bit away with the fairy, so to speak. They um a little bit antagonistic sometimes, but he seems to be quite a genuine kind of person. So he's undoubtedly going to merge everybody in his sleep. Um, so well, we've got the silver necklace. I mean, technically, it's not ours, but. 
<laughs> sure, it's, it's valuable. Will you accept this silver cross pendant as a deposit? Can I take a closer look at it? Aye, silver. That'll do. Thank you, Mr. Kemp. Can I get you something to drink? Um. Oh, I'm tempted to, to have one and then maybe see what that leads to, but also clear head would be preferable. We can always come back. Not right now, Mr. Kemp. As you were. All right. So we've done that. We really just need to... Okay, so we've got more exploration to do. So uh, should I take a look around the area and see what I can find out about Mr. Shoulder and Hobbs Barrow? So we still really don't have any idea where it is. Um, and then maybe that could lead on to the Postmaster Storeroom. We could need to find Hobbs Barrow. So let's go... Let's go. This man's always here. Good day, sir. Yeah, we can't speak to him. <laughs> Okay, let's let's go exploring because there are a few other houses and things that I have not uh, explored and knocked on the doors. Let's speak to this guy again. I don't think Hello. he's going to be much use. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Not to say, except don't be sniffing around his lordship's manor. You'll end up with a round of shot in you. I beg your pardon. You heard me. Just mind your own business around here. I really must find Hobbs Barrow. What did I tell you last time? Not to be found digging around in those things. Goodbye. ta -ra. Yeah, so he's no no use at all. Um, I think, have we spoken to everybody? We have. We spoke to those people last time. I think I want to go out. There were some other houses which I haven't tried knocking on the door yet. Uh, the Cyril. What about for the, this door? I, I'm guessing one of these houses has got to be his. Why are you knocking on me bleeding door? <laughs> I'm right here, you tough bugger. Oh, apologies. Yeah, I thought that was probably his house, but uh, he never know. We'll try next door. I don't think anyone is home. No one's home in this village. Um, okay, so... So far, so far in this game, we've started before. I've never been stuck for what to do. There's, I've always managed to find the next thing to do and to speak to the next person. So now I'm not entirely sure what the next step should be. Explore, but I, I mean, I've been everywhere. Um, I've spoken to her. Perhaps we'll go back inside here. But again, I don't think those have seen better days. I don't think there's anything else in here, unless we can kind of move around. Well, at this point, I haven't actually locked. tried. Okay, locked. Locked as well. They're all locked. I think they all might be. Well, I've got the one key, but this is our room key. Um, let's just try. The you key know. is clearly the wrong shape for this lock. Oh, well, sorry. I can't actually see the lock from here. Uh, well, have I looked at the altar before? There's no time for such things. Oh, right, fine. It's a bit grumpy today, isn't she? Um... Oh yeah, I can do this to just to check everything. I have looked at everything here. So, okay, we'll go out. I don't think there's anything else in, the, in here for us. Um, now, of course, there are... The, oh, there's, there is this door, which is locked, I think, isn't it? It's locked. Yeah, and I have to try the key. Uh, okay, let's go this way. What is up here again? Is this where... Ah, it's the little girl. Pardon? He took her and ran off. I hate him. Is Myrtle one of your dolls? Yes. My favourite. Mummy made her for me. She's so beautiful. Wally is the worst brother in the whole world. Okay, so we might be able to get that back for her then. Why did your brother take Myrtle away? He's just jealous because Daddy is letting me come with him to the market tomorrow. Wally thinks I'm Daddy's favourite, so he took Myrtle from me. What if he rips her to tatters? What if he feeds her to Miss the Bryden's goat? Don't worry, Jane. I'm sure he wouldn't do such a thing. Where did your brother go? 
I don't know. Home, maybe. But I have to wait here for Myrtle's friends to dry out. Where do you live? Our home is on the other side of the village, miss. Maybe Wally went back there. Or maybe he's left her out on the moors. Poor Myrtle. I'm going to kick him so hard. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Right. Bye, miss. Let's go and get Myrtle. Awesome. We, we, just as I was getting a little bit lost as to what to do next, we get a mission. Um, and now I have seen Wally and I did speak to him, but because I didn't know he had taken Myrtle, uh, I didn't know to try and get it back. So I think it's out this way. There was a couple of houses just on the other side of um, the plough and furrow here. I think this is where they were, or it could be out that way actually. Oh. You know, just before we go, I haven't actually been down the alleyway for for a while, but again, now there is nothing here, nothing new anyway. Sturdy looking barrels, no doubt used to store ale. Don't think she's going to I suspect do the barrels anything. are empty, otherwise the locals would be rolling them into their cellars. Yeah, okay, let's leave that there then. Let's go out this way. Oh, here he is. This young fellow looks miserable. He sounds as well. Good day. Oh. What do you know about Lord Panswick? I heard he owns the whole county. Have you met him? No, he lives out on the moors somewhere. But everyone does what he tells them to. Why is that? Because he has a lot of money. Goodbye. But that's Wally. Well, why couldn't I... Not even mention Myrtle. Oh, maybe I... Okay, let's knock on the door. I don't know why I can't go straight to Wally. Hmm. Maybe his parents are home. Nobody home. Nobody home again. What? Mm. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Well, what about the doll? I thought, oh, I thought I was going to try and get that back. Um, well, that's confused me. Huh. Okay. Maybe he has left the uh, doll out onto the moors then. The road disappears over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. Okay, but she doesn't want to go out any further than that, so... Let's try somewhere else then. Maybe if we walk out into the moors in the places where we can go... So this... oh no, that's just this guy. Let's just speak to him Hello. again. Good day. Can I buy you a drink, Henry? Really? Really. We can talk more at the inn. But at all, Mr. Price, I'd keep ah. watch of his storeroom. Doors have locks for this very reason. You're right. One drink won't take long. Okay, I shall take get him drunk. On your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. And this is a good reason for not having a drink earlier, because we'd be then a drink right. ahead. It weren't Stevenson's only design, you know. Before that, there were the Blucher and the Locomotion. But my favourite would have to be the Lancashire Witch. I believe he built that in 1828. In Newcastle, of course. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait! Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. I couldn't even get a word in. <laughs> he likes a good chin wag, our Henry. He certainly does. Huh. Okay. Um. What, uh, did that get me anywhere? Well, let's go back then. Maybe we could get him to come back for another one. Just keep on doing that. See if we can out drink him. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. Yeah, here we go. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. Let us make our way. So while he's doing that, I don't know, I don't think I've got any option to actually do anything. The rear wheels are powered yeah. by coupling rods. Would you believe? The boiler had two flu tubes. Two! There were nothing like it. Well, that's me. I better be off. Wait! Ta-ra, Miss Bateman. Okay, <laughs> this isn't working. Curses. I'm starting to feel somewhat tipsy. I'm here to excavate Hobbs Barrow, not Hobbs Barrels. Hobbs Barrels. Achievement unlocked. Getting two drinks. Okay. 
Um, can we... Uh, let's find out more about him. Here we go. Henry Long can talk, can't he? <laughs> He's a colourful character. The man drinks like a fish. He certainly does. I've seen him drink this place dry and okay. still be up to tend his garden at sunrise. The man can truly hold his ale. Goodbye. See you soon. So my plan on drinking him at the table is not going to work. Um, if we could find something to spike his drink, maybe. But exactly what? I've no use for ashes. The poor thing. Hmm. I must say, last night has rather put me off using these toilets. Fair enough. She's not going to go in there anymore. Go back up to her room. I don't think there's really anything in here, is there? I don't wish to carry the bowl around with me. An empty bowl has been provided for washing. I've hung my dress inside. Aside from that, the wardrobe is empty. Yeah, there's just nothing else in here. I've too much to do today to waste time sleeping. Okay, so there's too much. The candle has melted. It's not much use anymore. Okay, but nothing, nothing here. Hmm. I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Okay, so there's nothing else to speak to him there. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now. Okay, so he's not going to talk. Uh, I guess we could try I these guys. Else to ask for the time oh, being. Not for him. There's nothing else. Okay, not them. So I'm exhausting dialogue options. So at least I know that I am kind of making progress in that case. There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. Nothing there. What about uh, what about that old man, Cyril? Good day to you, Cyril. I'll do, lass. Aha. What do you make of Henry Long? <laughs> An idiot who thinks that station's a good idea. Can you imagine? Strangers pouring into Bewley. Turns the stomach, that does. Maybe he has a point. You could travel. Bah. You're an outsider. I'd expect you to have such a bad opinion. But Henry, he's a Bewley lad. We've had the odd Barney or two in the pub over it all. I can imagine. Ooh. You know what? If you can get them both in there at the same time, maybe they'll get into an argument. While they're distracted, I can go get my crate. Can I buy you a drink, Cyril? Yes. Well, yes. Go on then, lass. Follow me. So then, it turns around and says, Why is a dog like a tree? And I says, I don't know. And he says, Because they both lose their bark once they're dead. Oh, God. <laughs> I've heard better. Very droll, Cyril. Well, it's been a pleasure, but I must be off. Aye, lass. Ta for the drink. You're not too bad for an outsider. <laughs> okay, so he's going to stay there. Now let's go and get Henry in. I think this plan could work. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling good about this plan. Hello. Good day. Can I buy you another drink? I suppose one more ale won't hurt. I shall take you up on your offer, Miss Bateman. <laughs> Let us make our way. <laughs> We're racking up that tab. <laughs> we can use all our money before we go back. To think, if that station hadn't we been go. built, we would never have met. Blessed be the Midland Railway. Idiot! Here we go. It's working. That station is the worst decision this village has ever made! Cyril Farnaby. A miserable man with miserable ideas. I will change your mind even if it kills me. Yes. Nice. Right. Let's go. Oh, that's brilliant. So, so uh, one thing I've sort of noticed about this so far, the, the kind of puzzles like that that we've we've had come across, they've been logical and I've worked them out. Um, I'm really enjoying locked, that. Locked. Okay. As expected. Of course, it's locked. But is I there... need to get inside without attracting too much attention. Uh, maybe we could sneak... He's currently debating the merits of the railway station at the inn. Oh, how do we get in, though? I don't think battering the door down is the solution here. I don't wish to draw too much attention. 
Okay, but what else is there? There's nothing here. Oh, there's a window. Yeah, so there's there's the crate that we're trying to get into. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay, that's frustrating because there's no other. There's no way. Royal Mail, postmaster's residence. This must be the local post office. Can I take the black? Royal Mail. This must okay. be the. Um. Great. That hasn't really. This house looks pleasant. He's currently debating. He's currently. Yeah, it's not. She's not. Trying to, I can't break into his house while he's there. Look for a key. Uh, how do we? Maybe I can go and speak to somebody else. The blacksmith. Maybe will have the key. I don't know. I can't think of anything. Ah, uh, how do we get in without attracting too much attention? This shifty guy over here may have a way in. There's nothing else. I no. Down the alleyway. Can we climb over the wall? The lavatory window. I see no sign of life within. So what about... If, oh, hang on. What about... That's this building here, right? Oh, that's this building. Yeah, I'm not sure that's quite right. Uh, where do I need to get into? Oh, what is... This is the vicarage, right? There's no one here, I don't think. I don't think anyone is home. No. Can we get the in door this has one? been boarded up. The building looks like a ruin. I don't know how to get in. Obviously, this. Well, okay, we'll try it. Because you never know. This key doesn't fit here. Yeah, I didn't think it would, but I thought you know you want to try these things sometimes. Um, we could burn it down. <laughs> That's a peculiar idea. The glove, trowel, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I can't think of any... So there's, there's nothing... Okay, so we're, going, we're not speaking to them. But okay, I'll tell you what then, let's... Hmm, I don't really want to disturb them, but just in case, because I, I came straight out. We'll just see, just in case we need to... Uh, do anything. These two are as stubborn as each other. I'll leave Cyril and Henry to their grand debate. Yeah, that's fine. So we just need to find some way in to that place. We have no key. The door is locked. None of these people wish to speak to me. What is this one again? The sign is in a shabby state, but the shop appears to be a cobbler's. Cobbler's. Have I tried this one? Hmm. No one here. Yeah, I have tried all these buildings. There is no one, no one about. So, or what I can't about? Think of anything else. Okay, not you. I want to get out the exit. So he's not there now. Maybe we could break into his his house. I don't know why he'd have a key, but I was just saying no one's. I don't here. think anyone is home. No, but there's nothing else. The door, door, door. Is the exit over this way. Exit over this way. Oh, what about if we go back to the station? Ah, uh, let's just see if we can speak to him. What can you tell me about Lord Panswick? Oh, you've heard of his lordship then? Yes. Do you know him? Aye. He comes into the village from time to time, gives sweets to the children, hires young men to work his land. He's well liked around here. I sense some hesitation, Mr. Tillett. Yeah. Well, we kind of have an unspoken agreement with his lordship. He looks after us, provided we leave him alone. I don't follow. He likes his privacy. Some people do. No one is allowed to visit him. Do you mean to say that he's a bit eccentric? No. I've heard people got fired at when approaching his manor uninvited. Good grief! But is this true? Well, I won't be the one to find out. Farewell for now. Tara. Yeah, we've heard that several times, and she's still as shocked as ever. Uh, so, there's tracks like, yeah, there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. A 
path stretches off across the moor. Okay, let's go down at them. Okay, so we'll go down this way. Let's try and exhaust everything. So what was up this way? Oh, that's the that's the girl. Uh, what was this way? Oh yeah, it was the guys chopping wood, wasn't it? If we go back this way, yeah. So there's nothing else I wish to dis. Yeah, and I don't think there's anything else here. Just the men. I'll let him get on with his work. Yeah, so there's nothing here. This one, there is a hole. I have no desire to go rooting about in there. But she doesn't want to do anything with it. And I think I did try digging last time. I'm not sure what that would achieve. So yeah, I'm sure we'll come back to that at some point. And and again, there is nothing else here. There is nothing on this screen. So we'll go this way. So that door is locked. The church is nothing inside. Let's just There's check nothing else I wish to. Okay, so we've exhausted options there. I'll try this way. So we have got. I did look at all these headstones. Uh, I tried digging the grave, but she doesn't want to do that just yet. What about this way? This is how we went to. Um, the uh, Len Shoulder's house in the last episode. The moors stretch into the distance. Okay. I don't wish to wander aimlessly. So we can't go back there. But there is this mushroom. Can I dig up some mushrooms? That's a peculiar idea. Oh, it's not really that peculiar, is it? Um, okay, well, well, we'll leave them alone then. I tried to stand in that mushroom circle over there. I thought maybe, uh, maybe it could be like a teleport or something. Uh, what was this plaque again? Margaret's Lookout. I wonder who Margaret is. Yeah, we don't know who was. Margaret is. And there's a bench which I sat on. I've got an achievement for sitting on the bench. I don't think there's anything else here. Again, there's n oh, there's nothing. Or does it scroll a bit? Ah, yes, it does. Oh, yes, we have the this cairn. The Devil's Toe, a local landmark. What a peculiar name, the Devil's Toe. I can't quite see the resemblance myself. And we did try digging up before. She I doesn't want to, to do that. Up. No, that's fine. It's this way to Mr. Shoulder's cottage. Ah, this way. Okay, well, let's go. Do we go straight there? Okay, maybe there's something else we need to do here then, because... Let's try the door again. I've come a long way to meet you, Mr. Shoulder. Please open the door. A carved stone has been affixed to the door. I think it depicts a crescent moon. It's bolted onto the door itself. I can't remove it. Okay, that's fine. Can you grab a hen? You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? <laughs> okay, now He what? looks much too unruly to be picked up. Yeah, we've got this one. You're a sweet little thing, aren't you? Well, that's interesting. We can pick them up. I don't know if there's any sort of significance to that. Um, okay, Mr. I... Shoulder must have dropped the matching glove last night. Yeah, because... What the... was he doing in the alley? We do have the... Rather rude of him not to come inside and see me. Yeah, especially if it was there. Okay, so we've got the, we got the other glove. The trousers feel damp. Freshly hung or still wet from last night's rain. Slightly damp. So same again. And there's nothing else to go here. <sighs> there really isn't anything here. Mr. Shoulder has stacked blocks of wood neatly beneath this small lean-to. No sign of any movement. So it's clearly not home. But there is nothing else here at all. I don't suppose using a trowel with the uh, stone. That is not coming off. No, okay. So I, I guess at some point we'll want to get it off, but not right now. There's nothing else here. Okay. Just go back. Okay, so I'm reasonably confident that 
there's nothing else to do at that point. But oh, as for anything else, okay, so that was that way. Try what it reminds me of what was this way. I know just been here, but oh yeah, so there's nothing else that way. Let's go back to let's go back to that little girl, and maybe we could get a lead on that uh, doll of hers. So I don't know. I thought that would be that was a lead that we were going to try and get that doll, but it doesn't seem to be, does it? So let's go up this way. Hello, Jane. Hello, Miss. Have you heard of a place called Hobbs Barrow? I... I have, yes. You have? We oh. aren't supposed to talk about it. Did she say this Why last not? time? Would you like to go there? I would. Yes, I would very much like to. I'll tell you where it is if you find Myrtle for Ah. Uh. You will? Yes, but don't tell anyone about it or I'll be told off. I promise. Please find Myrtle first, I miss her. I will. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye, miss. So I was just missing a dialogue option. That was all. Oh, that's a little bit frustrating. It is a little bit frustrating. Um, well, let's go back to the village. Now we want to go. Now we can go and speak to him. It should be able to unlock the new option of dialogue to be able to speak to him there. That's what I'm, what I'm thinking. Ah, that's a bit of a shame. Kind of wasted a big chunk of time. Good day. Here we go. Jane tells me you've taken Myrtle away. And what if I did? That's a bit mean, don't you think? She kicked me! Look at this bruise on my leg! <laughs> yeah, I can see that. That does look quite bad. Why did she kick you? Because she's a little goblin! You don't know what she can be like! Besides, Myrtle is gone now. Oh, I've no. given her to the fair folk. That'll teach her. Who are they? Who are the fair folk? The little people of the moors. I gave Myrtle to them. Little people? You don't mean fairies, do you? We call them fair folk round here. Wally, there is no such thing as fairies. It's two, and I gave them a doll. Where can I find these fair folk? Follow the tinker of their tiny belts. I hear them when the wind dies. They dance around the little house. But where is this little house? Just listen for the bells. You'll find it. <sighs> Don't think about bringing that door back. That will just bring bad luck for all of us. Goodbye. Hmm. Okay. Bells. Uh. Is it out this way? The road disappears no. over the horizon. I see nothing but moorland. So I think we need to go back to where the Devil's Toe was. Um, what the, where, what's my map? Here we go. Oh, wow! I completely forgot about the fast travel options we have here. Devil's Toe. Let's listen out for bells. No, it's not working, is it? So I was thinking, because before we did, there was a, what, um, someone called a, a feral child or something who was standing on this, who then ran off. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me go back. Was that a bell? Or was that just music? That's just the music, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm listening, I'm listening. No, okay. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Let's go to the mouth. Is it where? Is it anywhere we want to go? Maybe the wood? Listen out for bells. That's a dog. Oh, 
Okay, so Jane's promised to tell me the location of Hosbar if I can locate Myrtle, her stolen ragdoll. Well, he say, says he gave the doll to the fair folk. Maybe, actually, you know what I should do is go speak to people. Um, maybe I have nothing else to ask for the time being. Oh, I thought maybe they'd say something about the fair folk. Maybe these kids, because that'd be sort of something I could ask There's them. There's nothing else I wish. Seriously? I oh, man, come on. Talk to people. There's nothing else. Um, actually, you know what? The. Hmm. Yeah, the, the barman. He knows everything. I can't think of anything else. No, it looks like we're going to be doing this on our own. There's nothing down this way, obviously, is there? That's literally just that one place we're trying to get into. Oh, this is frustrating because I, I kind of I know what I need to do, but I'm not sure where to go to do it. Um, what would help? What would help? Let's go to the church because there's a few options of the church, like a few pathways we could take. So that's where the girl is, right? I'm just trying to get my bearings. No, it's not. Oh, but can we hear? Oh, hold on. There, there, there is a little. Was that there before? The little pile of dirt. I'm not sure if these are poisonous or edible. It looks like something has been buried in the middle. Yes, that wasn't there. Oh, is that where the doll is? Do you think? He's buried it in the uh, mushroom, uh, the fairy circle. Oh God. Thomasina, please stop leaving your toys lying about the place. What happened the last time you left your dolly under the tree? A fox ate it, madame. Yes, it did. Fetch it now, won't you? Then I'll fix your supper. Yes, madame. Oh, we we're, were in a flashback. Miss Bowles looks cross. What's for supper, madame? It'll be nothing but a glass of water and a worm if you don't fetch your dolly right this instant. <laughs> okay. It's the gateway to the fairy kingdom. Of course it is. Uh, we'll come back to that in a moment then. <laughs> <laughs> it is. There she is. That's what I said. There you are, Josephine. I won't let the foxes eat you. Who's that you have there, little bird? Josephine. She introduced me to the fairies. Oh, fairies, you say? Yes, Daddy. Do you believe in fairies? Of course. Do you see those mushrooms over there? Yes. That's a gateway to their kingdom. That's where Josephine and I go to talk to the fairies. Now, listen to me, Thomasina. Yes? You're old enough now to hear this. There's no such thing as fairies or talking dolls, my little bird. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear child. I do not wish to upset you. I just want to make sure that you understand the difference between fantasy and reality. Josephine is just a doll, and fairies do not exist. But, Daddy... Science is the great <laughs> antidote to the poison of enthusiasm and superstition. Please always remember that. If you hear anything about fairies or the like again, know that it's hogwash. What is it? Reminds me of my dad. <laughs> he... Uh, hogwash. My, Did my, Wally bury the doll, I wonder? Probably. Um, yeah, my dad refused to let me believe in anything uh, fantastical when I was a child. Oh, lovely. That's a gorgeous doll. This must be Jane's rag doll. Oh, what if it's not, though? We've got worms. Look at it writhing away. C can we grab mm. a worm? You're coming with me, little fellow. Oh, we can. I shall name you Kenneth. <laughs> can we get the other ones? I've already taken one. Okay, we don't need more worms. So what's there this, then? There is something somewhat unsettling about its appearance. It certainly is. Okay, let's just check. There's, yeah, just the worms and the ragdoll. Let's grab it then. Perhaps these wriggling worms are the fair folk young Wally was so fearful of. 
Yeah. So here, my, my dad, um, a How little strange. story. There is a hairpin <clears throat> pierced through the arm. This may come in handy. I'll keep it. Oh, can we pick the lock? Maybe. At least I shall not return from Bewley empty-handed. Okay. So I remember one time, my dad, um, apparently I, I didn't used to believe in the Tooth Fairy when I was a kid. Um, at a some stage. And um, my, a tooth came out and I put it under the pillow and... Uh, um, next morning I woke up and got the money from the pillow and I went to my dad and said, yeah, I got, got the money. Kind of not really thinking that anything about it. And he was like, oh, are you sure you saw everything? And I went back to um, look under the pillow and there was this tiny little shoe there. And he's like, oh, look, a, a Tooth Fairy's dropped a shoe. And I picked it up and I was just just blown away. My, my, my little child brain was just exploded. I found the actual Tooth Fairy shoe under my pillow and I was walking around um, holding it in my hand, just kind of shaking it around in my hand. So I was like, oh wow, look, I've got this shoe. And then when I opened my hand, my hand was covered in glitter. Um, and it was like, my dad was like, oh look, it's fairy dust. And it was, it was, I was absolutely 100% convinced Tooth Fairy existed. And then of course, at the end of the day, my dad, be my dad, uh, said, Sit down, son. Uh, it's not really the Tooth Fairy shoe. I made it and I put glitter in it and I hid it under your pillow. He kind of, and just destroyed, destroyed my little illusion because uh, he didn't want me believing anything for too long. Um, so that's 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 my childhood for you. So <laughs> anyway, uh, let's. Well, we have a worm, uh, we have a doll, and we have a hairpin. So I way leads back to the graveyard. Tempted. Let's go back there then. I'm tempted to try my theory of. Uh, picking the lock with the hairpin <clears throat> uh, first, and then we'll take the doll back to the little girl. So, hairpin, door. She's going to do it. Kenneth taught me this useful trick. A hairpin is much more than a hair accessory. A few wiggles and this lock should spring right open. Yes. Go on. I've snapped the hairpin in the process, but I managed to unlock the door. Nice. That is good. Okay, so we can get our stuff now. Let's open this envelope. Yeah, figure out what's going on. Why did There's Kenneth not inside. show? Miss Bateman, I beg your forgiveness. A matter of grave urgency has arisen in London, and I cannot join you in Bluey. I've packed your usual equipment and pray you will find local assistance in my absence. I look forward to seeing you upon your return. Yours faithfully, Kenneth Murdoch. How very frustrating. I wonder what happened. I'd better get this to the alley before Mr. Long comes back. Moving a fully laden crate through the village square was no easy task. Somehow, no one was there to witness it. Hmm, where's everybody gone? But I didn't give up, because I never give up, do I, Mother? Oh dear. Some, some I'm issues. I'm as stubborn as my father, as you liked to remind me. Okay, so she's got a few issues from her childhood. What have we got inside? Thanks. Oh no. Where is my money? Oh no. It's not in here. Kenneth, you absolute liability of a man. It looks like everything else is in here. Hicks, specimen trays, shovels. Oh, my chisel, I'll take that. Ah, oh, my lantern. It feels light. There mustn't be any oil inside. I'll leave the rest in the crate. Stanley assured me things would be safe here. No money and no assistant. This is most inconvenient. Still, I've been in worse situations. I've got a tab at the inn for now. I'll worry about money later. Yeah, I was going to say, how are we going to pay the tab? Barrow and get on with the excavation. Okay. Well, okay, so what did we pick up there? We picked up a lantern and we picked up a chisel. So they could come in useful. We've still got the, the worm. Don't know why we've got the worm, but we've got one, and we have uh, the rag doll. So, okay, we're, we're getting a little bit long now, so we'll call it a day there. So, what I'm going to do is next episode, we're going to give the doll to the uh, little girl. Um, so, 
that should help us to locate Hobbs Barrow. We're still exploring Beauty, which I've gone everywhere pretty much, but I guess as more things happen, it should unlock more options to do more things. Um, and then now we've got this uh, refill the lantern. Lantern's no fuel. I need some paraffin in order to for, in order for it to work. I've not come across any paraffin uh, yet, so. That's going to be an ongoing issue. Uh, but yeah, we'll call it a day there. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we've uh, made some significant progress, I think. Um, it's a little bit frustrating that I could have been done quicker if I'd have just talked to that girl a little bit more. Um, I guess I just need to make sure I exhaust dialogue options, even the ones where I think I've already done. Sometimes there's like a second option to, to, to say more things. Um, but okay. Uh, yeah, we'll call it a day there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.